Welcome to the art studios with Ms. Perna and Mrs. Dickert. Hi everyone, welcome to Ms. Perna's class. Today we're going to be working on sugar skull designs. I was very inspired by this beautiful mug I picked up at the store. So I'm going to use it as the inspiration for the drawing I'm doing today. As you can see, it has beautiful decorations on it. And I was thinking we will do the drawing, outline it in marker. So what I want to do, and then I think this we will be watercolor painting it. I'm going to start so, with the top of the skull. So I'm going to draw a dot here and one on this side with a pencil. And I'm going to draw a rainbow line. Now you do not have to draw yours super dark. I have to draw it a little darker for the video. Um, now I'm gonna put a letter J line here and a letter J line here. At the bottom, I'm going to draw a letter J line like this and a letter J line like this. And I'm gonna connect them at the bottom. As you can see, I'm making the skull pretty big. And I'm going to bring this up and attach it. Almost looks like a mushroom, which is fine. In the middle, I'm going to put an upside down heart. Over here, I'm gonna make a nice big oval to be one eye. And I'm gonna put a nice big oval to be my other eye. And now I just gotta decide what I wanna do with the mouth and the teeth. So I think what I'll do, I'll start with a simple curving line. And I'm gonna do bouncy lines like this to make the teeth on my skull. It's kind of up to you what kind of teeth you want to put. And I'm putting the lower jaw and the lower teeth. There we go. And now I'm going to outline it. Welcome back. We're getting ready to paint our beautiful sugar skull. Now I just wanted to point out that I have taken out the black and the brown because if we have them in here and you use them right away, we end up muddying up our water and then our colors will not be as bright. So we're gonna start, of course, with the lightest color, which when you look on the palette, that is yellow. So anything that's gonna be yellow, we're going to paint first. So that way, and as you can see, I'm not holding it way up here by the brush bristles. I'm holding it here behind the metal. That gives me a very light touch. We paint with the tip of the ponytail, not the metal part. So you don't wanna press down. You don't wanna go crazy here. We're just going to use the tip of the brush to do our painting. You dip, get a little more paint, load your brush, and keep your arm and your hand off the paper. We're gonna hover above. Sometimes it helps to stand up. You do not have to sit when you paint. You may stand up. It, it's really artist's choice when we're painting. I know when you are in kindergarten and first grade, I always make you stand because I wanna make sure that you don't spill and you can reach the paint. But as you get a little older, you are allowed to sit down when you paint. I know I myself prefer to stand, but I can't stand here at the, at the recording area. So I'm gonna keep on painting. I'm gonna finish up with my yellow. When we're ready to clean a brush, remember it's bounce, 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 wipe, 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 back and forth, back and forth on our paper so our brush is nice and clean and ready for the next color. It also. 